This is how you use Lightroom's distraction removal tool. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's go and have a go at it. We are in the develop module in Lightroom and we're gonna to go to the remove tool here. Under the remove tool, you've got distraction removal. I'm gonna click the drop down arrow there to reveal it. We're then gonna click this drop down to reveal the reflections panel. We're gonna click apply. We're gonna let Lightroom do its thing and then it removes the reflection just like that. But it gets better guys, all right, watch this. If we grab this slider, I can drag it to the other side and it gives me just the reflection, okay? I can grab it again and go to the other side and it removes that reflection for me. It's witchcraft, man. They've added witchcraft into this software. That's all I can say, all right? This is what you're gonna to need to know. If you are previewing image just to see if it works, and this will not work on every single reflection image, by the way, then you just leave your quality to preview. When you're happy and it's done its job, you need to then click on this drop down and you need to select best before you render it out. So as you can see, it's reprocessing this. Because under the preview option, it literally is just gonna give you a preview to show you what it looks like. If you need to export that image, you are gonna need to select best. And it gets better, guys, because we are now gonna go and look at the people removal option. And for that, we need an image with people in. Here we go, this is one I took at the Tate Modern in London. Literally, the raw file, nothing's been done with this apart from some keywords have been added. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna hide the reflections panel. I'm gonna open up the people panel. It's detecting the people. It's now detected them and give me a mask overlay of where they are. I click remove, Lightroom does its thing and removes them people and again, produces that witchcraft stuff that no one's got a clue how it's doing it, but it's doing it and it looks absolutely brilliant. Now, here's another thing that you need to know. If you don't like the removal, okay? So if you don't like the way that's been removed or you don't like the way that's been removed, you need to click on the pin. That's these little black bits here. Let's click on this one here. This other box comes up called selected and it gives you variations that you can click through. So I can go variation one, Variation two, that's not bad actually. Variation three, back to variation one. Uh, in this case, probably variation three is better. Now let's just say that you didn't want both of these people removed. You just wanted the background one removed. Well then that's it really easy. You're just gonna hover over the pin of whatever person that you didn't want to remove, which is this one here. Let's click on that. We go over to our panel and where it says selected, we click the bin and it removes the effect from that particular person. And now I can change that black and white, add some contrast, make it look really cool, post it on my socials. And then people that are in the background there will never annoy me again. Now, if you wanna learn Lightroom properly, don't forget, we teach you over at the schooloffotography.com. Now, before you go anywhere, if you've enjoyed that, please give me 30 seconds of your time. Firstly, did you know that 89% of people that watch our YouTube channel are not subscribers? That is nine out of 10. Nine of you watching right now have not subscribed to this channel. And if you wanna to continue to watch this type of content, please subscribe. We've got a quarter of a million subscribers, over a quarter of a million subscribers. And imagine if them other nine people press a subscribe button and the stuff that we could bring you would be phenomenal. So press that subscribe button. Now, if you wanna learn Lightroom properly, you wanna learn photography properly, come over and see us at theschooloffotography.com. We have got really high quality, in-depth courses on photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, wildlife photography, portraiture, landscape photography, and there's just tons. There's loads and loads of stuff over there. We've got a brilliant community of people. We have competitions, we do assignments. You have discounts on big photography brands, and you know there's loads and loads of member benefits. So please, if you wanna learn photography, come and see us at theschooloffotography.com or at the bare minimum, 
press that subscribe button. It really, really helps us out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have pressed subscribe, you will see me in the next one. Thank you.